Hello, this is Bill Webb, aka Billy Indiana. Today I'm going to do an unboxing for a 2023 release. This one's called First in Flight by Artana Games. I think they were recently acquired by Genius Games. And this game is by Ben Rossett and Matthew O'Malley. Uh, Genius Games recently reached out to me and asked if I'd be interested in reviewing this. And I'm grateful that they were willing to send me this review copy. So I'm going to open it up today and see what comes inside of the box and look forward to playing it soon. If you'd like to watch the unboxing and see what comes inside the box, stay tuned. So before we open up the box, just a couple quick comments. As I mentioned, Genius Games, I think, has bought out Artana. This is the Board Game Geek page for First in Flight, so you can see the designers, artists, and the publisher here. And then looking at the Genius games website. I actually own Genotype and have enjoyed that game. Love to try this on the Origin of Species sometime. And then this is the first in flight, the historical aviation board game that I'm getting ready to unbox. And you can see here it says Artana Games has moved, now owned by Genius Games. So uh, that's the connection there. I have played quite a few other games by Genius Games as well throughout the years. I have tried, like I said, Genotype and own that one. We've played Ecosystem before. We've tried Virulence and Peptide. And then some of the chemistry games, having taught chemistry a lot. Um, I did back the Subatomic Kickstarter years ago when it was on Kickstarter. And I've also played Ion. So I've played quite a few of these and purchased quite a few of these. But it was really exciting for me to hear from Genius Games. And they reached out through my Instagram channel and asked if I'd like to try this game. So very excited to unbox it for you now. So it's a little hard to see the art here originally with the cellophane still on there. So let me flip it over and we'll go ahead and open this up so we can read it a little bit better. It says, Race to the Record Books with First in Flight, a lofty deck building game that puts you in the earliest pilot's seats. Up to four players choose from historical aviation pioneers vying to conquer the skies by testing their flyers, improving their designs, and taking risks to defy gravity. Facing aerodynamic hazards and unforeseen design flaws, Will you settle for a safe landing or dare to stay the course? Call on luminaries of the industry, use your accumulated skills, and draw from experience to push your luck and your plane's limits. The aeronaut who flies farthest launches humankind to new new heights. And it lists the components down here. It says on the side, it's one to four players, ages 12 and up, 45 to 75 minute gameplay. And you can see a little bit of the art here on the side, in case you store it vertically on the on your shelves. And then here, if you store it horizontally, another view if you like the vertical storage, I like that, that side. Uh, and then here on this end, just with a different color for the horizontal. And then on the front, because it was a little hard to see it originally, really beautiful art in my opinion. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what comes inside. Here we've got a rule book, which is standard. And we see components listed here. I do like it when they give a clear list of the components right off the bat. Sometimes they only show the setup and give you the rules, and then you're kind of wondering what all the parts are as you're unboxing and opening it up. So nice to see that here. And then here they have the setup separately. So I do like that too. Then we've got the game concepts, how you take actions, how you build flyers and break records, how you become famous and develop your cards. I like deck building games, so I'm excited to try that. A little bit of follow through on what the gameplay is like and how much the actions cost. And then further explanation of the actions and how the flight cards work. Then we got an example flight. That'll be nice. I think following through that. I, I wonder if, well, this was Artonic. I don't know if, if Genius Games had any um, input on any of the design of this, but seems very teacher friendly. As a teacher myself, it looks like it's laid out well. So I'll read it through and find out if I agree after reading it. But um, and then we see ending the year, and then rules clarifications, how you win the game, how you play with two players, and then biographies of the different pioneers of flight. So that's pretty cool. And then uh, it said one to four players, so I don't know if I missed it, or if it's somewhere else um, in another document here about how to play solo. Maybe it's mentioned here in the two-player rules. We'll find out as I get a chance to read it later. Right, here's a little advertisement from Genius Games. Several there that I've played. We've got the punch outs for the coins, it looks like. So that looks pretty traditional, typical. Here we've got some stickers. Not sure what these stickers are going to go on. Find that out soon, too. Maybe on these flyer player cards. So these seem a little bit thin, 
but the art looks nice, so maybe they need to be thin for one reason or another. Brave New Century, who will be the first in flight? Nice little art on the back of those player boards. And we've got four of them for the up to four players. Okay, here we go. Here's the solo mode. So this is probably what I'll do to start is learn how to play on solo mode so that I can get the basics of the game and then probably end up teaching my wife to get a two-player game in and then hopefully playing with some friends of the family or some family members to try three and four. All right, we've got a two-sided board here. So some kind of a tracker of points around the outside and looks like maybe some sort of achievements or something along through here. Not sure exactly. We've got some sort of money tracking or round tracking down here in the bottom left hand corner. I'm guessing maybe this is the side for two players with this little emblem. Not sure though. Uh, over on the, oh, this also has a little two player symbol so that must not be it. Hopefully in the rules it'll clarify if there is a difference on, oh here we see, one to three right here on this and this must be, yeah, for four players you specifically use this side it looks like. So really nice. It's kind of thick, heavy-duty board. Feels good. Um, we've got an extra baggie here. Here we've got some wooden components representing the different players, I'm assuming, and the planes that they're going to use. There's a clock timer, or a clock that I'm assuming would represent the game timer. And we've got some sort of flight and pioneer, it looks like, or some sort of apparatus and pioneer, maybe. Yeah, I'm not sure. We've got the, the blue and the purple and the orange all kind of look like they're different styles of planes. This just looks like a bird, so I don't know, maybe that's like Air Force symbol or something like that. Uh, but nice ch chunky wood pieces there to represent those. And then the rest looks like it's going to be basically the cards. And it is a deck builder, so that makes sense that it would be card heavy. I don't see anything on these cards that show an easy open, unfortunately, so... Try to be careful with the knife, but let's see. So here looks like these are maybe our Pioneer cards. Art looks really good. And then, the, I don't think that's all the Pioneers, but I'm not sure. Then we've got Daredevil. Roll control, so this must be tricks we're trying to do. Wing war plug, tilt the canard, <laughs> fly cautiously, close call, practice makes perfect. Whoops. So I'm guessing these must be different tricks we're trying to accomplish. Take off catapult, wheeled landing gear. So that's one set of cards. And nice insert here. I'm not sure functionally how it will work, but um, in terms of design and uh, you know structure, it seems sound. It's not a very thin plastic. It feels pretty thick and sturdy. Um, and okay, on here we've got experience plus one to your flight, basic flight problems. That's not good. Those must be kind of like in a lot of deck builders, there's usually a card you're trying to get rid of and so like curses or something like that. So I'm guessing that's probably along those lines. And we've got delicate wing structure, pitch instability, power failure. <laughs> These don't seem very good either. Uh, unreliable elevator control. So most of those cards seem like they are not in your favor as you're trying to play the game. And I saw on BGG there are some expansions for this as well. All right, and then here we see some clock one. And so this must be time in flight, maybe twos, threes, fours, fives, and then some other. Oh, here's some plus one to your flights. We saw that on this other one. So maybe we can add this one there. Uh, I didn't show you the back, but these all have the same back here with that sort of skyline and terrain down at the bottom and then these have the same back as well. I assume they would want to all be the same so as you mix them into your deck you wouldn't know from the backs what's coming up maybe I assume like maybe in a Dominion style game uh, deck builder like that you want to be able to draw cards without knowing what they're going to be and these all have that same back as well which again makes sense. These are a bunch of one clocks across there so 
a lot of that same kind of card. So it doesn't look like there's a huge different variety in cards. And I'm wondering if this is maybe an expansion. Like I said, I saw on Board Game Geek there did seem to be an expansion or two available. So we've got, looks like maybe these are the pioneers here though. I'm not sure we've got this set. These, these cards have this back. Maybe this is for solo or two players. I don't know. Got a little different symbol, smaller cards. There was that two symbol right here on the edge of the board with the two. So it looks like maybe those are gonna go there. Those all have that back. And then these are two-sided. So we've got fives and sixes there with people on this side. And then flipping it over, we got people on this side and an eight there and some wrenches. So a few different backs there in this little pack that was in that different kind of storage. I assume there wouldn't be anything underneath. Oh, there is another tray underneath. So it be interesting to see how to use this. I'm not sure why you would need dual trays, but um, yeah. We'll see. I'll check it out after I have a chance to read the rules. Um, put all these pieces back in here. And looking forward to trying this one out. I'm grateful for Genius Games giving me the chance to uh, receive this review copy and get a chance to play it. Try to play it at a number of different player counts. And then once I've done that, I'll uh, get back online and put a review up so you can hear my thoughts. I'll take some pictures along the way as well. So if you follow me on Instagram, Bill Indiana 2020 you can see some of the pictures as we're learning it in the first few rounds of play and then look forward to a video down the road when I've had a chance to play at different at different uh, various player accounts. So hopefully you enjoyed this unboxing. If you did, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. If you would choose to subscribe to the channel, that would be terrific. And as always, thanks for watching. This is Billy Indiana signing off. Huh.